guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about all the different things I take on my trail rides, whether that be super adventurous or your everyday ride. So we're going to break this down and go through the three different stages of your trail ride. <laughs> of riding I've broken them down into um, your routine ride an exploratory ride and an adventurous ride as far as your routine ride goes this is just your typical trail that you might take every single day or the one that you always go on whenever you go out on the trails this one is familiar and a lot of people use it and there's not really a risk of you getting lost and having issue with people finding you if you need to be rescued the next ride is your exploratory ride now this one tends to be a lot longer and on some terrain that might not be very familiar as well as might not be traveled quite as often. With the exploratory ride, you'll want a few more essentials in case you might get lost or somewhere that somebody might not necessarily see you. And last, we have the adventurous ride. Now this one is for the people who really want to get out there and see the world and they don't really care too much about being around people in civilization. So for this one, you have to be extremely careful because it might be days or even weeks before somebody might come across you. Okay guys, so I recently bought these packs. These are trail gear by Weaver Leather. Uh, they're this nice brown um, canvas-like material. They have some reflector on them. Um, I picked these out because for one, they're not leather, which as you know, leather can over time get really stiff and hard to deal with and is a lot of upkeep. So I really wanted to do the canvas so that it was easier to take care of and would last me longer. Another reason I picked out these packs is for all of the compartments. There's lots of zippers, lots of places to put stuff, and there's even like these bigger sizes as well as these smaller sizes. For your routine ride, I typically only carry this little pack. It doesn't actually go on the saddle, it actually goes on me. And it's really uh, not much, it's just the basics, just in case something were to happen and it will get you home safely. This is the koala bag. Um, as you can see, it hooks onto my hip, stays out of the region where I'll be riding my horse, but it is easily accessible. Also good to have in case you fall off your horse. It's all right here and it doesn't take off with your horse. All right guys, now this carries a lot more than just my basics for the routine trail ride, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I normally carry in my koala bag. It's already in here and I'm just gonna pull that out for you. One of the most essential things is a good knife. You never know what's out there on the trail. You might need to cut to take care of your horse or keep them from getting hurt, or even if something's fallen down. Next, we just have a basic multi-tool. You never know if you're having to repair tack on the trail. This is really good for any of those little Chicago screws or anything like that. You've got this to help you out. Next, we have a whistle. So if you're out on the trails and something happens, you fall and you can't get back up, then at least you can use this to signal somebody to your location because more than likely if you're on your routine trail ride, there's gonna be plenty of people around. Of course, you'll wanna bring a cell phone that you can use as long as you have service. More than likely, if it's your routine trail ride, you're gonna have it. Next, we have a hoof pick. And this is really good to have on a trail like that just in case they step on a rock, they could bruise their feet and this will just help relieve them of pressure and pain. It's also good to carry around um, a few leather straps or even some string or paracord just in case there's a tack malfunction. You will not believe the amount of times that has happened even on the most routine and shortest trail rides. This will not fix the problem permanently but will at least get you home. And finally, we have some safety pins in this little pouch right here and a bandana. This could be good for any kind of um, bleeding that you may have or even for your horse. And this is everything that I carry on a basic trail ride, your routine, not going anywhere crazy, go there every day kind of trail ride. And I typically carry this in my koala bag. All right, so now I'm gonna start getting into the things that I would carry on my um, saddle if I was going anywhere other than a routine trail ride. Obviously, one thing that you would really need to have is a compass 
And for obvious reasons, just to find the directions. Next, sunscreen. You never know how long you're gonna be out in the sun or how much shade you're actually gonna have. And on top of the fact that some horses have sensitive skin and it's a pink color and they can also get sunburned. So this is good for both you and your horse. Next, we have bug repellent. And the thing with this is if it's deep free, you can use it on yourself or your horse. And the worst thing that you can possibly have going on is if you're riding down the trail and your horse is getting extremely aggravated by bugs. It can even get to the point where they're unrideable. So this is really important to have with you. Having a good pair of work gloves or leather gloves is also important in case you're having to move any kind of branches or thorns or anything to that nature. They can also keep your hands warm if it's cold. One good thing to also have on you is a good nutritional food. The one thing about horses is the entire forest or wherever you're traveling typically is their dinner plate. So all you really need to worry about is yourself. Now on your more exploratory rides where you're going more likely in not a circle, this is something that you'll need to make sure you can find your way back and don't get lost. But just make sure that on your way back you're picking them up as you go. Next, there's nothing like a good flashlight. Though you may not be traveling in the dark, there is the possibility of getting lost. Or even if it is still light outside, if you need to see something better, like an injury on your horse or even on yourself, this is something really good to have. Now, depending on what time of the year you're going on your trail ride, you might need this if you get stuck overnight especially. These are space blankets. Now, your horse may be a bit spooky, so they won't accept this, which is fine. Horses are made to survive these kinds of conditions, unless they are body clipped, which just means that they are shaved down to shorter hair. In that case, it would be a good idea to try to desensitize your horse to something like this to help keep them warm as well. So just to make sure that you have enough, I have six in my pack with me. That way, if your horse is desensitized, you'll have plenty to keep them covered as well as yourself. We also have some ACE bandages. This is mostly used for yourself since we will be showing a different kind that you will use on your horse specifically. Now I do have some hair bands in here. Obviously for me, that's a good thing since I have really long hair, but it can also be used for many other things like repairs and even bandages. Now in this little pouch right here, which is typically up closest to where it's easily accessible, I have all of my medical stuff. In here I have antiseptic, I have um, wound seal, all kinds of bandages, gauze, and even some allergy pills in case I was stung by a bee or something like that. Next, I carry around just an extra layer of clothing. This is just a sweatshirt. If you are stuck overnight and it might get cold, it's just something good to have, or even if you get wet, if it rains. Next, I just have an extra rope halter and lead rope, and the thing with this is it's very easy to just fold up and put away. It compacts really tightly as opposed to some of the other halters, but you never know if something might happen where your horse gets really scared or you're going to need to replace your bridle with this. It's just good to have this extra headpiece in case something happens. Now one thing good to carry is a couple of these small towels and the thing with this is it's really big so it's going to cover up a lot of space but it's nice and small and compact. Uh, this can be used um, especially in any case of injury with your horse or things like that. Next we have a grail water bottle and filter and obviously you're never going to be able to carry around the amount of water that you need for your horse so it's always good to make sure that you have the water you need and to be very smart about which trails you choose to make sure that you have access to water for your horse. Another thing you're going to need is a map of whatever area you're going to be exploring. It's really good if it's waterproof. That's just a bonus, but if you can't find a waterproof map, at least have some kind of bag to keep it from getting ruined. Now this is a medical kit for animals specifically, but for me, it will obviously be for the horse. Now in this medical kit, we have some things. This is um, basically a painkiller for horses. It's really good for them if they're having a little bit of soreness and you just need them to tough it out and get back home. This is good for that. We also have some hydrogen peroxide, we have a syringe, we have corona ointment, which is good for minor cuts and uh, scratches. This is our vet wrap, and this is essentially the same thing as the ace bandages, but for a horse. 
There are also a lot of other things in here, like a thermometer, gloves, gauze, wound dust, and different things like that. Next, um, we carry around a trash bag, and obviously this is going to help you with weatherproofing um, as well yourself, as well as possible shelter if something were to happen where you were stuck. Once again, horses are built for this weather, so don't worry about them. Next, just carrying around some baby wipes. It's amazing how much being clean can help you survive. This is something very important to have and can mean the difference between you getting out or getting sick. Next, I have this little pack, this plastic bag, and it's sealed in with toilet paper, diapers, pads, and even tampons. Obviously, the toilet paper is for when nature calls. The pads and tampons can be used for any kind of medical issues or as intended purposes. And then you have the diapers. And the one thing I want to talk about with the diapers is with horses, sometimes they can pull shoes. And especially if you're someone who does trails a lot, your horses are going to have shoes on them. If something were to happen where the shoe was pulled off and the foot was really tender, one good thing about having these diapers, as well as our next item, which is the duct tape, is you can actually use this as a temporary replacement for your horseshoe. And a lot of you know out there when it comes to doing things like um, packing a foot, that this can be very durable over a long period of time. Next, we have all the things you'll need to start a fire. Right here we have Exotac fire steel, tinder tabs, and stormproof matches and these will help you get that fire started and keep you warm at night. And last but not least, to add to not only your tack repair, but as well as possible need for shelter, we have paracord. And as you know, this stuff is invaluable. These are all the items that we've had packed, and now I'm gonna break it down to our three tiers. And again, this right here, this line right here, this is just the basics of what I take on my routine ride, and this is what I build my next rides off of. So this right here is the building block for each more exploring ride that I go on. This, once again, is your exploratory ride. So this is just the next step up from your basic. This is somewhere that, where there might be a lot of people that are coming in and out, but there might be some unknown terrain and the very slim possibility that you might get lost. Now this is the final stage, and these are all the items that you will need for somewhere that is unknown to you, that might have unfamiliar terrain, and even very low counts of civilians around. This is something that you might need in case you're lost by yourself. So this is everything that you need from your adventurous rides all the way down to your basic routine trail ride. And guys, here's the thing. It's not just for your sake, it's for your horse's sake. And if you're like me, your horse is very important to you and you wanna make sure they come back alive and healthy. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support the channel, just head on over to Patreon, Brattle95, where you can join us for all kinds of updates and even some sneak peeks to some of the videos that are coming up. Link is down below in the description. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget, be brave, be brave. We'll see you next time, guys.